are wrapping up our most recent devotional series, which has been on Sukkot. And I want to go into some details about Sukkot for the ages. The goal of Sukkot, again, it's to aid the believer, it's to aid you and I in better living a holy life in preparation for the coming return of the Lord. And so in Zechariah 14, it details what the coming reign of the Messiah will be like. In Zechariah 17, verses 6 and 7, it says, On that day there shall be no light, cold, or frost. And there shall be a unique day which is known to the Lord, neither day nor night, but at evening time there shall be light. This is very similar to the lighting of the tabernacle that we've talked about over the last couple of weeks. The illumination from the tabernacle courtyard illuminated all of the courtyards in Jerusalem. Further, Jesus is coming. It thus made the light shine to more than just Israel, but to Gentiles as well. And now the light of the Lord shines across the whole world. And so this light, this presence of the Lord, it will be with us day and night. And Jesus, he will be more really and more tangibly our king and our guide and our ruler on earth. Further on in Zechariah 14, verse 8, it says, On that day, living waters shall flow out from Jerusalem, half of them to the eastern sea and half of them to the western sea. It shall continue in summer as in winter. This living water, it's the spirit that will flow from the people of God. Jesus, again, he said, If anybody thirsts, let him come to me, and I will give him living water. And from his heart will flow this living water. And so it's incredible that in Zechariah 14, this living water, it's going to flow from Jerusalem. It's going to flow from the people of God. And we will be fully empowered by the Spirit at that time. We will have the fullness of the Spirit within us. And what an incredible time it's going to be. And finally, in Zechariah 14, verse 9, it says, The Lord will be king over all the earth. On that day, the Lord will be one and his name one. We, as the church, we need to be living in preparation for this future coming. We need to live in preparation as if this is our reality. During this time, we will also be celebrating Sukkot forever and ever and ever. In Zechariah 14, verse 16, it says, Everyone who survives of all the nations that have come against Jerusalem shall go up year after year to worship the King, the Lord of hosts, and to keep the festival of booths. That is Sukkot. So we will be remembering the celebration of Sukkot. We will be walking in the spirit and walking in the light in the fullness that we can because we're going to be celebrating Sukkot forever. And every year as we celebrate Sukkot, it's to continue to prepare us for the return of our Lord. It's to continue to prepare us for the marriage supper of the Lamb. And so we will be fully empowered by the spirit and we will be fully walking in the light. And that is is how we will continue to grow in Christ-likeness. And so, before the return of our Messiah, let us continue to remember that we need to be prepared for his return. Let us continue to walk in the Spirit and to walk in the light individually, but also let us come together as the church to walk in the Spirit and to walk in the light and to ultimately proclaim the news of the marriage supper of the Lamb to everybody who doesn't know about it. It's our goal and our mission as the church to take the light that Christ has given us and to shine it out for others, to be a beacon of the gospel and to say, this is what is going to happen. Jesus is going to come back. And are you going to be a part of his bride? Are you going to be pure? Are you going to be spotless or are you not? And so consider that today, church. Are we being effective in proclaiming the gospel? Are you prepared for the marriage supper of the lamb? And what do you need to do to be better prepared? Thank you for joining me over the last few weeks as we've talked about Sukkot. And I look forward to celebrating Sukkot with you again next year as we continue to talk about how do we prepare ourselves for the marriage supper of the Lamb. I'll see you guys very soon.